Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I'm with Ian and with Kimberly, and uh, we are ministering today for the Ermelua Family Church. Uh, uh, there with Antoni Tolich and also um, Dolores Cronier and, and the whole family. Uh, I love that church. I had the opportunity to minister there a few times, and, and they're always in our hearts. Uh, me and Pastor Jack over the years have always prayed for them and we are always here for you so anytime you guys want us to pray for you or minister to you just remember um, 300 kilometers is not that far we are there to minister to you all right so I asked on 20 uh, for names and he gave me the first names of a few people that he thought we can minister to so I want to be honest I don't know who's who I don't know if you are making tea or are you welcoming someone at the door or are you preaching on a Sunday uh, or are you the worship leader or the guy that cuts the grass uh, or are you just someone that sometimes attends the church I, I've no idea but the Holy Spirit knows so I'm going to go through this list that Antoni gave to me and we also ministered to to Antoni and to Dolores and to Letitia and we're going to just today just trust the Lord that the Lord will give to each one uh, of you personally a prophetic word and then right at the end I will also just share with you what I feel the Lord is saying corporately to the church. All right. So the first person I want to minister to is Ben. And so Ben, I just felt that the Lord is putting provision and skills in your hand. So I saw first the provision and skills was in your left hand. And the more you surrendered your life to God, then the Lord moved it from the left hand to the right hand. The left is the flesh, the right is the spirit. And so the Lord says, son, you've learned how to walk according to the, the, the spirit. And, and I see that uh, parable in the Bible where the guy had the five talents and he had to make a ten talents. And then the Lord said, good and faithful servants, before, because you've been faithful over this five talents that you made ten talents, I'm going to give you now authority over ten cities. And I just felt that the Lord is going to bring massive increase and promotion into your life, Ben. God bless you. Okay, the next word is for Pierre. Pierre, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw the picture of a wheel, like a car wheel, and the mag has been broken. And you try to drive it, but you're not getting anywhere. And I just see how the Lord says, it's going to take some time to fix this, but the Lord is going to help you to fix it. He's not just going to do all of the work for you. He's going to be next to you. He's going to instruct you what to do and how to do it. Because this process of restoration in your own life, in your ministry, will also be duplicated in other people's life. How you can train them and say, okay, today we're going to do this because I know it works because I've made the same mistake and this is how we rectify it. And so out of the mistake comes actually a lot of wisdom where the Lord is going to bless you uh, and anoint you where you're going to help other people that is stuck, which they feel they cannot move. Even though you try very hard, it feels like you're just not getting anywhere. Be blessed. Amen, Pierre. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for uh, Christo. The Lord says, shows me that there needs to be a pressing in your life, that you need to press into the presence of the Lord. The Lord shows me how you anoint your home, how you go and just do communion in your house and you do it frequently just to get that flow going in the home and the lord shows me how there needs to be eternal vision like on horses that you put these i, I don't know they called i think they're called blinders i'm not sure but to keep your focus on the lord because the enemy is going to try and distract you the lord says keep your eye on me and behold the lamb be blessed okay awesome so the next person i want to minister to is vesta all right so vesta i just see how the lord puts the holy spirit baptism of fire into you now i know we all get baptized in the holy spirit we pray in tongues we get baptized in water but the holy spirit baptism of god gives us passion gives us fire gives us that that fire to get up and start to intercede and to pray and to trust the lord for bigger things and and i remember uh, when the israelites they were coming out of the uh, egypt there was like a, a column of fire that the Lord had on their backside to protect them. And then in front of them was the Red Sea. And then, of course, Moses had to raise the staff, open up the sea, and the people could go over. But that fire in the back was the fire that protected them from the enemy. And I just felt that the Lord says, Vesta, I'm protecting you from the enemy. You're not going back. You're going to go forward. And you're going to go into the promise of land. Now, I know <laughs> the desert doesn't feel like the promised land. 
But the days it didn't have to be that long if they if they just made their covenant with God and said, Yes, Lord, we're gonna follow you, we'll trust in you. And I felt that the Lord says, You are a woman of faith. You're gonna go through, you're gonna make the covenant with God, and you're gonna go to the promised land that the Lord has for your life. But I felt right now the fire of God is in you and the fire of God is protecting you. God bless you, Vesta. Okay, the next one is for Brenda. Brenda, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Uh, the picture that I saw for you was, you are so prepared. You are at the starting blocks. You have your starting blocks. Everything is fine. You have prepared for this moment. You studied. You, you are so prepared that you, you exactly know how to run the 100 meter race. But the problem is, now Amen. the whistle is going to blow and you're going to run and you're not sure if you're going to run. And the Lord says, you are prepared. But to be prepared and to do is not the same thing. Uh, to do, you need to make a decision. I'm going to trust that what I've got is sufficient to do what I need to do. And the Lord says, I'm going to help you to activate your faith. You've got tremendous knowledge, but your knowledge needs to be uh, turned into faith and action. And there is where your things are going to happen. And this is what's going to happen in this season. Be blessed. Amen. This next word is for the Zona. The, the Lord shows me how, how He is opening up your mind and how He is taking things out and He is placing new things in. The Lord shows me how He is coming and He's cleaning up and He is sweeping out things that, that shouldn't be there. And He is making space for His new ideas. The Lord shows me how He is going to give you like this light bulb moment how he is going to reveal to you something new something that he wants you to 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 work into your life but then start releasing and sharing with others and and i and i see how how this renewing of the mind is going to happen with deep prayer i hear the lord saying that i want you to to start speaking this is not a time for silent prayers this is a time to, to speak out loud and, and, and speak the words of the Holy Spirit. Get that river flowing. Be blessed. Okay, awesome. So the next word is for Crezon. Okay, so Crezon, uh, what the Lord showed me is one of those taxi buses that has the big bass bins in the back. And, you know, when they stop right next to you, the, you hear that doof, doof as the, the, the music is playing inside there. And I felt the Lord is giving me the following. There's a worship anointing on your life. There's a leadership anointing. That bus is like a picture of ministry. You're going to take people on the bus with you. You're going to try and equip uh, people. People are going to follow you because you're making space for them in ministry. But then I felt that the Lord says the music is not just for entertainment. The music is like a, a, a tool of warfare because Jehoshaphat, he went with the worship team in the front and they actually brought about, uh, uh, that they were the ones that went in the front into battle and the Lord fought the battle on their behalf. And I felt that the Lord says the same thing is going to happen in your life where you're going to see music is going to change from being entertainment into being a weapon to bring people into the kingdom of God. God bless you. The next word is for Kevin. Kevin, um, God shows me that he's giving you discernment and I kind of see how um, God is building the sensitivity to his voice in the private place where no one sees it and God shows me just be faithful in the small things um, I see how God it's like he nudges you to do small things that don't like seem very important But then that prepares you for when you are outside doing the big things and um, God shows me how he's equipping you in a relationship with him I see how you really you'll really know the father's heart and the father's voice so you'll be able to discern when someone says something and You'll know the Father's heart, so you know that, okay, this is not, this does not agree with what I know of the Father and what the Word says about the Father. Um, God shows me that He's taking you deeper into um, His presence and that He's really going to give you heavenly revelations and such great understanding of things. And God shows me that He's giving you such a soft and teachable and moldable heart. God bless you. Okay, I, I think it's Riesh, Risha. Risha, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Uh, the picture that I saw for you was um, a bicycle wheel with, with the traditional spokes. And just when you, you want to get race ready and you heard uh, reducing the weight is a very good wisdom. And I just saw how you want to start to take apart the wheel, take out some of the spokes. And then the Lord said, whoa, wisdom is to know what, to, what you can remove and what do you actually need. But then I see how the Lord upgrades your wisdom as well. And he gives you a complete new design of 
the spokes in the wheel so that you have only five spokes in this wheel almost like a mag but it's aerodynamic it is light and it's very effective and i just see how the lord says come and trade your wisdom for my wisdom and in the season it will be activated be blessed so the next word is for samuel uh, so uh, samuel or samuel uh, the lord shows me a business and in this business there's a lot of lights i actually see like a tremendous amount of lights and it's clear there's a lot of vision and and the, the business is very blessed the glory of god is there there's order there's structure and then the lord shows me that you are preparing uh, a blessing to be able to give to the next generation and the next generation and so there's a multi-generational blessing upon your life now i felt that that hasn't been the the case in your past that there wasn't always that blessings there was also you also had to go through uh deal with the curses from the generations before you but you were faithful to allow god and trust the lord to wash you clean with his blood to make everything new everything that you had the seed that you had to cleanse the seed so that what you plant and grow would be something that you can give to the next generation um, but i felt that you have a lot of vision a lot of clarity and order in your life and that's all part of your anointing god bless you samuel Amen. And this next word is for Angela. The Lord shows me how He's calling you. How I see how you are knitting this blanket and it is covering. The Lord is saying, daughter, I want you to place a prayer covering over the over those who you love, communities that you love, because I hear that your covering it will protect so much of darkness trying to come in even little bits of 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 like the world just trying to to squeeze its way in. And I, and I see you as, the Lord shows me you as the mother, and I can't remember the grandmother, who prayed and interceded for her children, and now they are saved. And I hear the Lord saying that, that that is what I'm placing on your life. That is a calling for you right now to pray and intercede for the next generation with that prayer covering. Be blessed. Yes. Uh, I think it was um, Eunice, mm -hmm. was the grandmother, and she prayed for Timothy. Yep. And he got saved, yeah. Hey, awesome. Thank you very much, um, Ingela. God bless you. Okay, so the next word is for Ivory. Uh, uh, Ivory, what the Lord shows me, He shows me very, very strong legs. And I saw how you were able to, to uh, take authority in a spirit, to occupy land, to intercede, to pray, uh, but also to put the action of obedience to what you're doing. I see that the Lord says that you are a portal for blessing uh, not only in your family but also at, at the church and i saw through your praise and your obedience to the lord <clears throat> the lord releases vision the lord re releases uh, provision uh, and he opens up doors and i actually see doors opening up because of your praise and so you are one that will declare and um, uh, uh, if i think about joshua you know joshua uh, inherited those israelites from moses and then he had this job to take the Israelites into the promised land and they had to occupy all this land and bring order uh, in that land. And I felt that's part of the anointing that God has given to you to occupy new territory. And first you occupy territory for your own family, but then you occupy territory for the whole church and for the whole community. God bless you, Ivory. Amen. Thanks for it. It's for Vili. The Lord shows me and he says that you need to move into the next gear. He is speeding up. The Lord is, is ready to move. There's something, there's something big that is coming. He says you need to go to the next gear. The reps are going up. And when you change to the next gear, the Lord shows me how you don't feel like, like you're like pushing the whole time. Because when you're in the wrong gear, it's like pushing and... And, and you can't drive properly. The Lord wants to, to move and, and He wants you to be a part of that move. So get into the next gear. Connect with the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, where are you moving? Where do I need to be to allow this flow to start coming out of me? Because the Lord is moving. There's a big wave of the Holy Spirit coming through. And I see how that's not going to be a wave, but it's going to turn into a river that stays there. That there's a well that is being planted. Um that is being dug and the Lord is saying come into that go into that next gear that next level you are leveling up step into that be blessed 
please leave us a comment. This next word is for um, uh, Andre. The Lord shows me how he is leveling you out. And I, and I see how the Lord's giving you a new way to measure things. How he is giving you discernment in the spirit. How he is wanting to move. And, and, I, and I hear the Lord saying that you are going to be able to, to see what needs to become, what needs to start releasing. And I see how you start appointing people. It's like, you have this anointing in you. I want you to start releasing it here. I want you to start working there, serving there. And I hear that that's the Lord's way of saying to you, like, you're going to be able to see where is this person, like, where are they measuring to in, in terms of how the Lord wants to to move. I don't know. I just see like measurements. You're going to see. All right, this person needs to be here. They're like their spiritual maturity high. They need to be pressed in more and and nurtured a bit more. And the Lord is really giving you eyes to see and discernment over that. <laughs> Andre, uh, I just want to confirm what Kimmy said. If you go and read, read in, a, in a book of Leviticus and Numbers, it talks there about all the measurements of the uh, the Ark of the Covenant and the Tabernacle and every single measurement that uh, had an importance and it was all part of the priestly function and I believe under the Lord is speaking to you and He's saying to you now I've given you a priestly anointing in that house to intercede, to pray, to pray for, to speak into, to stand in a gap that's all part of your, your ministry the Lord loves you very much okay so the next per person I want to minister to and uh, the rest of the team uh, don't know anybody that's that's on here, uh, but the rest of the team is uh, Antoni is the the pastor of the church, uh, Leticia is his wife, uh, and then the final person there, uh, uh, Dolores Cornia. She used to be the first person uh, with her husband Saki years ago that started the church. So I'm just kind of giving the the rest of you guys um, background. Okay, so Antoni. What I felt the Lord was speaking to me was He showed me a ladder with angels going up and down on this ladder. And the Lord said to me, the ladder is the leaders in the church. And the more leaders you rise up in the church, the more there is spokes on this ladder for the angels to move up and down so that you can work with the angels. That's what the Lord showed me. And uh, the Lord is not a word of condemnation against you. But you were so dedicated and you were, were working so hard. But I see the ladder was there. But there was only a spoke every like fifth or fourth uh, bar. There was a, a place where you can put your, your spoke. Because, but because you're so used to, to go to God, you, you just climbed up that ladder anyway. But I felt that the Lord says now in 20, you can't have a ladder where you're missing steps. You have to have a step every one. And, and uh, to, to give it, to, to make it practical to you. Some churches, they'll have a pastor and then a 40 year younger pastor and then 40 years later they got another pastor and then in a 40 year, so they have like, every 40 years they got a spoke on their ladder. All right? It's difficult for angels to work on a, uh, on a ladder like that. But when you go to a, a ladder where there's every 10 years or even even five years, there's a leader. Then now there's a lot of space because the anointing flow from Aaron's head all the way down through all the leadership from the young ones in the youth all the way to the to the older people in the church everyone is part of that leadership and that flow of the anointing and that mantle of anointing and i just felt that is the job that the lord is giving to you on 20 to build up a leadership and so you can make a list of all your leaders and you can say okay who's falling in the 20s who's falling in the 25s who's falling with the 30s and the 35s and the 40s and the 45s and so on and so forth and so the lord wants you to build it and then i saw how you as a church partner with the angelic and with the supernatural supply of god and how the anointing of god come onto the church to a higher level now the church went up and then down a little bit. Now you know how the graph goes. Now it's time for the church to go up to a new high. And I just felt like they say in the market, the market made a new high. I just felt that the Lord says that church is going to make a new high. God bless you. The next word is for Letitia. Letitia, I saw the, the scene of where Abraham is in the tent. And God is saying, telling him to look out to the stars. And I see how, um, like when you're in the tent, I see how like you being in the tent and I see how it's just like like noises and people's voices like trying to like 
It's kind of like the voices are blinding you, but I see how God is calling you out to lift your eyes to Him again and remember the promise and remember the things that He has spoken of you. And when you go through that storm to keep your eyes on Him, when He's calling you to walk out on the water, just keep your eyes on Him. Don't care about what people say. Don't care about the, the naysayers. Just keep your eyes on Him and keep your, your heart soft to His voice. God bless you. Dolores, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. The picture that I saw for you was, please listen carefully, number one. Um, you have been blindfolded. Now the blindfold work is not to see in the physical but into the spiritual because you received a tremendous sword. It's a, a devastating sword that brings havoc. And I see how you are in a place of darkness and you pierce the darkness and as you pierce the darkness, it is tremendous light and color everywhere. I just see how the Lord gives you authority, tremendous authority. But this authority is not to be used against people. It is to be used in the spiritual realm against darkness to bring back the light and the color that God wants for them. So that's why you are blindfolded so that you don't see the person, but that you see the spiritual aspect of things. So remember, your your fight is not against uh, the people, but it is against the spirit. So I just feel that you need to pray about this, and you need to walk with the Lord because you're gonna. Uh, it's a a lot of authority that you that you received, but it's a very very important authority as well. Be blessed. Unto the Lord, the Lord shows me how this is a, still a time for deep intercession. The Lord shows me how there are still things that need to break, things that are trying to come and, and, and just grab a grip of, of, of this ministry. And the Lord says that now I am calling you that you have stepped down of, from a place from preaching like to like the people like what Mian said, but now it's a time to start speaking to to those things that are unseen, to those things that, that no one knows that are there. But the Lord shows me how he is like even though you can see so well, the Lord says that I am enhancing your vision tenfold and your hearing and your voice. I see that lion that comes out of your mouth when you speak. It is still just as powerful. And I see like your 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 the person that lives inside of you, like and I see how you are still so full of youth and your spirit is so alive and is so powerful to to release this this new birth that the Lord wants to press in. And I hear the Lord saying that I'm giving you new wisdom on the steps that needs to be taken and I see how he's calling you to counsel and to g help um, guide the sheep into the corral but not the not as not the person that is saying um, this is where this is where we're gonna go that's where we're gonna go just like that mother saying come this way this is the way and like how a mom would make sure the kid doesn't go past back to the door to get the cookies you stand in front of the door saying no we're gonna we're gonna stay right here and I see that's the position the Lord has placed you in be blessed all right also we got to protect that cookies <laughs> all right thank you Kimmy uh Dolores God bless you family uh I I when I was praying over the church I just felt that uh, the line of the tribe of Judah the authority of God was walking outside that building of that church and I just felt that the Lord is saying today that the, the, the authority of God is coming back into the church. And I just felt that that lion, that authority is coming in. And so the Lord says, make space for me so that I can speak. And so there is going to be times where things are very organized. Uh, but there's times where you just need to allow the Holy Spirit to move. And allow that authority of God to come through. And the Lord says, I am going to lift up Adam Alua. And I'm going to use this church as part of the tools to lift up that town. Jose, God bless you, family. I love each one of you. Thank you for the opportunity, uh, um, Antony, um, and the leadership that we could minister to each one of you. Uh, if you in the future want us to minister to you, just contact me. Antony's got my phone number. And we would love to minister to you again. And also for the other ones that listened. Uh, if you in the future want prophetic ministry, just write your name in the comments and on the next video, we'd love to minister to you. Uh, we love and appreciate each one of you. God bless.